That was pretty good, wasn't it? Wow. <laughs> All right. Do you didn't get that one? No. You didn't get it? The rumor about butter? No, the hippo joke. Oh. Oh. You know why uh, you can't see hippos hiding in trees? Because they're so good at it. <laughs> Meaning you can't see them because they're so good. They're camouflaged. They're super camouflaged. They're super it. good at it. That's why you can't see She's them. She's going to squeeze the lemons. That's it. I'm just, All right. That's my job. Mark Charles. Let's squeeze the citrus, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> and this is not the regular squeezer that some of you are, um, a juicer that some of you have in your in your cabinet because there's no. an extra piece here. Correct. It's also something that's really important is that you have this great juicer that has gears in it. See the gears? So when I push this, I don't need a lot of strength. Why? It's ratcheting, okay? If you take a typical juicer like this, look what's here, guys. There's nothing here. To help you, this takes no strength now because there's a ratchet in there. Not only that, you've got stainless steel body, two rivets in here. You take this out and look at that. It cap captures any of the seeds. It's never going to go in there. It doesn't slide around. That's what the ribbing's for, and it's all dishwasher safe. This is what we call the better mousetrap. And here's the irony behind this product. You're going to laugh, David. They came to me and said, "We want you to bring this to David's show." What do you think? Would you like to bring this product? I go, funny you should say this. I've had this in my own kitchen for 10 years that I went to a store Same 10 device. years and bought it from Sheffin 10 years ago. To this day, I still have it in my house. Tell Not us kidding. about Sheffin. So Sheffin is a company that was started about, ooh, about 25 years ago, mm. and they're just trying to create a spin on everyday gadgetry with a little bit of fun with their colors. Nice. So they're bright with the colors, but they're really great with the engineering. And the engineering, remember, on this is this gear. You do not see that in any other reamer, anything you do with your bare hands. You, all the work is and the strength is in your wrist. But not with Chef, and they decided to put this gear in here. Think of a ratchet. A ratchet helps you get cranked down, and sure. it puts all the strength in there. That's the difference between Chef and right there. See that ratchet? So that's what creates the leverage, and plus, of course, this beautiful stainless steel body so it's not made out of plastic in the sense that's going to break on you this is going to last your lifetime it stands up it, this is a professional tool that we love I love um, this thing. Now, when you use citrus to cook seafood, yep. it's, uh, what is that called? Ceviche. Ceviche. I was going to say So again, the secret is cut, your, ceviche. cut mm -hmm. in half. Here's the, here's the seeds, guys. You face it down. You would not think that it goes that way because you think, oh, it should go this way, right? Because it's the, it's the shape of the cone, but it actually goes down because watch what happens. When I push it down, you need literally no strength on there. So for baking and everything else, it captures a lot of the big pulp. And then see what happens? Look, you push this, and then look at that. It pushes all the way. Look how flat that is. It goes it all the way. All the it took juice all out. the juice out with no worries about your own strength. You can go back in and squeeze some more, and you're ready to go, and you've gotten all the juice you could possibly get now, out of this. Now, you may be looking at this and saying, well, are the green ones for limes and yellows for lemons? Nope. They're both exactly the same. They're exactly the same. We just They're just different colors. colors. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So you have a yellow one, you have a yep. green one. Yep. Those are both, they both do exactly the same job. They're exactly the same size. Yep, same size. So it's important to know you just pick up a color because it makes you smile. Yep. And if the, do 100 left if, in the green. The, if the citrus fits in it, it goes in. So there are small mandarin oranges that fit in it. If it goes inside, I'm going to do a little cocktail here, which I love. Look, you can go right into a cocktail shaker and squeeze it. This ratchet, look, I can get all the way in there with not using a lot of my own strength, which I love. Captures all the seeds in there. And then I'll do a little bit of lime for this. So it's a double. Okay. Get in there. All the limes, all the lemons, all the small oranges, the, the, the um, what do you call tangerines, things like that. And now I'm going to make my drink. Ready? And we will serve now. Now, what if I wanted to put fresh mint in there? Could I you sort could. of do it like a muddling thing? You could, you could. But here's the thing with that is I want to make sure that you ro you have to roll your mint yeah. and, and don't put it flat because then there's nothing to, to muddle well, in. Can I put it in with, say, the lemon and the lime? 100%. And then 100%. muddle it together? 100%. So if you're baking, I think Tina Burley would love this. So here's your, um, the, uh, what are the... What is that sugar? Powdered sugar. Jeez, I forgot it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm able to squeeze a fresh lemon in there, right? Look how great that is. Get that in there and mix, and you're able to make a glaze. A glaze for your pound cake. Isn't that great? Look at that. Or banana bread or whatever. So I just love the fact that you can be. You, it can be that easy for you to make things like that easily. And I love the fact that if you want fresh lemons, fresh limes, smaller it's citrus. It's always going to be better with fresh citrus, correct. right? It's just a better way of doing things. I love with dressings, by the way. If you can do a little olive oil, a little mustard, some herbs, and then some fresh lemon inside of there. And then I'm able to like squeeze this out and make my salad dressing. It's just, it just makes for a way of cooking. And I, the reason why this is such a simple sell for me and such an easy sell, because I went out and bought this at a store 10 years ago, not kidding you. It's been a basic tool in my home for the mm. last 10 years. Bar none, I'm not kidding, seriously.
Now, we have two color choices for you. Let's take a quick look at them. They're out here on the table. I have this in the yellow if you want yellow. 2500 in the yellow if you want green. 1900 in the green. Are these dishwasher safe, Mark? They are dishwasher safe. Yes, they are dishwasher safe. And how many are gone now, Mark? Uh, Jonathan? Over 800 are gone. Now you're making some fresh pink lemonade. Again, pink lemonade, adding adding that fresh citrus. But before this, it was hard. Remember, guys, you're getting a ratchet concept built into this, which you've never seen before. Here is one I went out and bought, right? That's the that's the lemon reamer everybody knows, or the lemon squeezer. Look what's here. It's all your own strength that you got to put in there, okay? What was that phrase you used? Easy peasy, peasy, peasy lemon, lemon squeezy. squeezy. This is the perfect product for this that. This is the squeezy part. Because this is... Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Again, cut those lemons, limes, oranges, whatever fits in there in half. Put it down, face down, and then just squeeze and let the ratchet do all the work and put that fresh lemon juice in any recipe, in any drink this summer, whether it's alcoholic or not, and you got a great result every time. This is to me a no brainer product. Do you notice how Mark Charles was whispering when he was talking about the alcohol? What well, alcohol? Because I don't want to upset anybody. But, you know, I heard it, I heard it must be those all about alcohol on <laughs> Father's Day. All right. Um, what are you making? Oh, this is the ceviche. ceviche. Yeah. Because ceviche, I use both lemon and lime. And lime. Because both are acidic enough to actually cook the, sea, the seafood. The seafood. Yep. Exactly. Cool, right? All right, Mark I love Charles. This happy, happy Father's Thank Day. Thank you sir. very much to everybody. Happy Father's Day to my father in law, my father, and of course my husband to our two children. So happy Father's Day to everybody. Happy, happy Father's Day. Bye, everybody. All right, let's check in with Roro. Who's yeah. got